Today I'm going to show you guys some ways how to prepare for Madden 23 as a no money spend player. When you're a no money spend player like me, Madden is really tough to get into at the beginning of the year. Because there's people that drop a thousand dollars at the beginning of the year and you're just there with your puny bronze Clark! overall team. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can easily prepare for Madden 23. You guys will wonder, who do I buy? What positions do I upgrade first? Do I spend my coins? Do I open packs? But before we do all of that, we got to talk about what Madden you got to buy. Buying the specific Madden is very important to your levels of success and you're in the beginning of Madden. So you can go on the Madden website and you can see all the different Madden offers. So I have, PS so I have a PS4, so I'm just looking at the PS4 and PS3 option, PS5 options. Um, and there's the Madden all-time Madden edition. There's a standard edition and... Yeah, so let's just go through quickly what the difference is. So for the All Madden Edition, this is what you get. You get an All Madden Team Elite player plus the pre-order content. So I didn't know what the All Madden Edition was, but you basically get a choice of one of the 487 guys that John Madden gives you. I don't have any idea about it, but you get a free 87, so that's good. And that's not even everything. So this does cost $100, so let me just read you everything. So you get three day early access, so you get to play the game three days early. You get 4,600 4, Madden points you can use on packs. You get a dual entitlement, so you can play it on the PS4 and the PS5, or the Xbox, the normal Xbox and the Xbox Series F, X or S. You get early access, exclusive early access challenges, so you can earn some more coins. You get a choice of two elite players, one in offense and one in defense. You get all Madden gear, which I don't really know what it is. And you get Madden strategy items like they had last year. And if you guys didn't know what the strategy item is, basically boost your team. That's what you get basically for the all Madden edition. Now the standard edition. This is the PS5 or the PS4 edition. It's the same thing, but all you get is Madden 23, obviously. You get a choice of the two elite players. You get the Madden gear, you get the strategy item. However, you don't get Madden three days earlier. You don't get the free 87. You don't get the 4,600 points. So I know Madden is going to cost 30 or $40 more. But if you're no money spent and that's the only money you're spending all year, I say it's a really good deal. So I definitely suggest buying the all Madden edition. Okay, so you just bought the all Madden edition. So what do you do now? You can spend all your coins. You can buy all these packs with all your points. But I would like to do, if I bought the all Madden edition, which I probably will, I want to use the three day early access and grind as much as possible, make as many coins as possible, and save my points. I want to do the early access, I would suggest doing the early access challenges and just getting your team as high as possible. But before you do all of that, you got to make sure you did some rookie premieres from Madden 22. If you have Madden 22, it's really important that you do rookie premieres. Rookie premieres are 99s in Madden 22, but they come in as free 86s at Madden 23. And having those free 86s, you can choose any of them. It's really important because it really boosts your team at the beginning of the year. So after the three day Madden edition, everyone finally gets a Madden. So everyone's opened up packs. So that's when the market saves. So I'd like to save at least. So if I was you, I would save of all my coins until Madden fully are released on, I believe August 16th, that's when it's actually released. If it's not, I'll correct myself. But then that's when you go on a huge spending spree, you buy your team, but like, who do you buy? Cause it's the beginning of Madden. So all these people are gonna be pulling Patrick Mahomes, Bobby Wagner, Tyree Kill, but don't. You're not gonna buy those guys. You're gonna buy Budget Beast. You're gonna buy guys with high speed on wide receiver, you're gonna buy like Marquise Brown, Mark, um, Marquise, um, you're also gonna buy like John Ross. You're gonna buy fast guys, so get your guys open. Cause at the beginning of the year, speed is the only thing that matters. Cause everyone's gonna have these God squads, and the only way you're gonna keep up with Tyreek Hill if you have fast guys. Last year they released these free 84s like Tra Train Way and AJ Terrell. And they were like the best guys in the game because they both had 988 speed at the beginning of the game. And they could lock down guys like Tyreek Hill and 85 Randy Moss. 
So when you guys build your Madden team at the beginning of the year, definitely focus on speed and do not spend all your coin as soon as you get Madden. Make sure to get as many free players as possible and hopefully you get good rewards for the pre-orders. The next thing you're going to do is claim your rookie premieres. So the rookie premieres, I have no idea who really are the rookie premieres, but just pick the position that you want and will last you the whole year. I definitely wouldn't suggest getting a quarterback because you can color quarterbacks will only last for a few days. So I definitely suggest if you're going to pick a rookie premier, you pick a skill position like a wide receiver, a safety, a cornerback, where there's more, more than one of that position. So you can use them for a long time. A lot of people picked Kyle Pitts last year, which was a good pick because there's never good running wide receivers. But if there is a good wide receiver that is decent speed, I definitely suggest picking up the wide receiver. Okay, so we covered what you're supposed to do, but now we're covering what you should do with your points. So Madden always has these special offers at different levels. So when you like level up, you can buy these special offers like in Madden 22. Like if you reach level 30, you get like, you can buy like two elite player packs. So I definitely suggest instead of buying, using your points on the normal bundles, you should save them for the special offers like the weekly elite fantasy pack, because that could potentially earn you a lot of coins. So with your Madden points, don't spend it on normal packs. Buy like weekly elite and like packs that will benefit your team by giving you coins that you invested in. And then the final thing you got to do to build your Madden team is snipe cards. Like I said, at the beginning of the year, there's a huge market crash because everyone gets Madden when it's first released. So everyone's going to be ripping $1,000 on packs. And then instead of being that kid that keeps spending $1,000 since you're no money spent, you are going to want to save your coins and buy whatever position you need on that. That those those players. Also, there should be a quick promo at the beginning of the year, which is a superstar. And the superstar program is always a good program because you always get a free abilities on your players. So every year, you should always save some coins just so you can have some good free ability players. So that's about it for how you should spend your coins and who you should buy. Um, when you a quick team building, it really depends how your play style is. But if you want to do well in Mutt, I definitely suggest, at the beginning of the year, I definitely suggest you get a decent quarterback. It could be like an elite. It can be like a gold with good throw power. But get a quarterback you're comfortable with, but it's not a million coins. Get someone that's decent, but you're not going to drop your whole coin stack on. Wide receivers, all you need is speed. Speed is the only thing that matters. They could be like 65 route running, but they could have 90 speed. I definitely suggest picking them up. Offensive line doesn't really matter. Tight ends... Just get someone that's decent. And then on the defensive side of the field, you definitely want fast corners to stop the players that you're going against with Tyree Kill and others. Um, and then you're you're going to want a good user. The user, I wouldn't drop 6 million coins on Tyron Matthew at the beginning of the year or like a Derwin James. Just get a free guy that's pretty fast, has good height. Like at the beginning of the year, Instead of dropping all my coins on Tyron Matthew, last year in Madden 22, I bought Jonathan Abram. He was the best user in the game for me for like three, like a month and a half, all the way till like since new cards were released and he was really good. But to build your Madden team, get as many free players as possible, earn the coins, build around the skill positions. Offensive line doesn't really matter that much. So as long as you have like 75 overall golds, you'll be fine. So I hope this video helped you guys prepare for Madden 23 as a no money spent player like me. So definitely buy the all Madden edition. Save your coins until the market crashes. Spend your coins wisely. Don't drop it all on one player because in a month, if you buy an 88 Tom Brady, he'll be outdated by the, in a month because quarterbacks are released every week. And just have fun. Madden's supposed to be fun, so... If you team's not good in doing that well, just play some solos and hopefully you do well. So hope this video helped. If you guys liked the video, make sure you like, subscribe. I'm making a Madden comeback. This is my first video in like two months. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And call me Sam, I'm out.